There we go. Can't do this hockey without the coffee. Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I know it's been a really hot minute since I have filmed a video here, and I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. I was uh, busy the last three months of my life. <laughs> okay, so I was in America, and then I was traveling all around Europe, and um, yeah, just been doing things. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that too much in this video. I kind of explained in my uh, last video where I gave you guys like a little bit of an update and also on my main YouTube channel, which by the way, I actually post other videos that are not just about technology. Um, anyways, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, so I just found out that I am attending an all women 12 week boot camp here in Singapore run by tech ladies. I talked about it in my last video that got uploaded, but I told you guys I'll make an announcement video. So uh, yeah, I am going to be starting the bootcamp pretty soon. So Tech Ladies is based here in Asia, and it's a program that's targeted towards women who want to learn how to code, empower each other, connect with one another, and advance in their careers. Guys, I cannot even tell you how excited I am about this. I've never really seen anything like this before, and the the fact that it is here in Singapore, that's so cool. I mean, it's no secret that coding and technology is a very male-dominated field, but it honestly makes my heart so happy that the stereotype is changing. We still have a lot of work to do and it's still really far away, but I see improvement. This is the most improvement I've ever seen in my life, even though I'm not that old, but yeah. Side note, I follow some really awesome girl coders on Instagram. I think I'll do like a little shout out spree and then link it on my story, like on my profile. So you guys can go check that out because I don't remember the names, the usernames on the top of my head, but just go ahead and follow me on Instagram at techgirlbriana and I'll share with you some of my most favorite tech ladies accounts. That being said, I am so relieved that tech ladies exists and it's honestly so refreshing to see something new. When I came across this program, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. Did you know that 30% of the graduates of the Tech Ladies Coding Bootcamp have found jobs or internships in a software technology related field? If you ask me, that's pretty cool. I hope I'm that 30%. <laughs> But let's be real, here in Singapore, you need to basically give up an arm and leg a month just to afford rent. And to find a job here in Singapore, you have to sell your soul to the devil and give up your firstborn child because <laughs> the competition is insane here. Guys, I'm joking. So normally I wouldn't do a coding boot camp, mainly because of the cost. I know that a university degree is more traditional. In today's standards, it's considered more valuable, just um, it keeps more doors open if that makes sense. But a coding boot camp, however, not every company you apply for will accept that. So uh, that's why I haven't really been to one because I don't want to invest like, you know, 5,000, tens of thousands of dollars into a program that um, I'd rather just invest that money in university. But this program is only 550 Singapore dollars. What's that in US? Hey Siri, what is 550 Singapore dollars in US dollars? It's $400.90. Cheap. So for only 400 US dollars and 550 Singapore dollars, I can attend as well as anyone else that's interested. It only costs that much for a 12 week part-time coding bootcamp. Yeah. Wow. I think that's worth it. And it's about five hours a week. So that's 60 hours of teaching. So I'm paying about nine, a little over nine Singapore dollars an hour and about six and a half US dollars an hour for pretty intensive training. I'm just thinking, so that's roughly about 46 Singapore dollars a class every week. So I'm just thinking like sometimes on the weekends, that's how much I spend on alcohol and drinks. So I'd much rather attend a coding bootcamp than alcohol, you know, like you just gotta weigh the options there. You know? 
no, I mean, obviously you'll pick alcohol, right? No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, I don't really drink that much, but yeah. Does rosé count? And what's cool is that I get one-on-one -on -one training with my own personal coach and I work in a team of three. So in total, there's only six women that get accepted into the bootcamp and uh, you have to apply. I had to code a to-do list app. Uh, I talked about it on my Instagram account. I would like to show it to you guys, but to be honest, I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm pretty proud of it. I think I'll change some of the formatting. Just recently added a little bit of features for fun just the other day. Um, I already submitted it, but I just thought it'd be fun to play around with just some of the features because I was just like getting nervous. I'm like, oh, let me um, see if I can do anything else. But um, so I had to code a to-do list app, but what's cool is there were a bunch of workshops that you could go to where they could help you apply for the program, free workshops, but I wasn't in the country, so I didn't attend them. So I had my uh, boyfriend help me out uh, since he is a uh, software engineer. So he helped me uh, figure out how to do it. And if I was stuck anywhere, he would help me with that so I'm grateful that I have that support but um, but now that I'm in the boot camp I'm like okay leave me alone I want to I want to figure this out myself I don't want your help not that I don't appreciate it sweetheart but I gotta figure out things for my own you know there will be two teams a front-end team and then a back-end team they asked me on the application which one I want to be a part of and I said honestly I don't care just pick one and um, I got put on the front-end team which now as I look at it which is good because I think I want to go more into front end and back end anyways, but uh, to be honest, I, I just want to be surprised. <laughs> so I will be in a team of three. We will all be the front end web developers. And then we have our three coaches and then the other team have their back end uh, team of three as well as three coaches so and then we also have other people such as the designers we have people coming from the uh, companies that we're building an app for so there's a lot of people involved uh, there's more uh, volunteers than there are participants so you definitely get a lot of individual attention so what we will be doing is we will be building apps for charities I found out a little bit about uh, what kind of uh, app or sublet we will be building for a um, company called Earthlife here in Singapore. They're supposed to uh, promote wellness and living a responsible and uh, eco-friendly life. They're supporting being conscious of the environment and yeah, we're supposed to build the app to help out with that. Not really sure what that's all about, but I'll find out in my first session, um, which will be very soon. <laughs> nervous. So I know we will mostly be coding in JavaScript. So I had to uh, pull up Code Academy again and uh, just refresh my knowledge. I did know a basic knowledge in university, but honestly, we didn't use it that much. Pretty much most of my classes we coded in Java, which is really different from JavaScript. But um, at least I have like a grasp of like what methods and objects and like I just have a grasp of how object oriented programming works works and stuff like that. JavaScript is different, obviously, but it's been nice to be able to refresh myself because it has been so long since I've coded in JavaScript. Like, I feel like I know more now than I got taught in university just from all the Code Academy courses I've been taking, which are free, by the way. I signed up for the pro because uh, then you get to do extra assignments and work on like little projects and, and I just prefer that. I'd rather pay a little more, you know? So anyone that's doing tech ladies in the future and you have to code in JavaScript, I would recommend going to codecademy.com, take the intro to JavaScript course, take the um, JavaScript React part one course, as well as the JavaScript React two course. So uh, take those three courses. They are going to take a long time. So give yourself a few weeks to work on them like I did. Anyways, I'm really nervous to start this bootcamp. I'm also really excited at the same time. I've never, like I said, I've never done something like this before, but I'm sure it'll be great. And at the end of the 12 weeks, I will make a reflection video. It would be cool to um, watch this video again and then make a video at the end reflecting the whole process. So would you guys like a weekly vlog where I can show you what happens in the uh, classroom 
the, the boot camp, the area that we get together and learn every Saturday. And then maybe I can show you guys working on like my homework assignments throughout the week and just kind of take you through my eyes and my journey, like what's happening and what I'm learning and I can teach you guys what I'm learning as well. Like maybe I can group them in a few vlogs, like maybe I can do week one through three, three through six, six through nine, nine through 12, or one through six, six through 12, or do them every two weeks. Like how would you like them? Let me know because, um, because I want to know how much content I should film roughly so um, it'll just help you figure out my schedule for the next 12 weeks um, Yeah, I've never vlogged on this YouTube channel before so I think it'd be kind of interesting I still would like to film some of my regular videos like talking about just various Subjects about technology and computer science and programming, but I need recommendations So if you could just leave them down below I'll uh, make sure we um, do that. All right. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you next week. Woo. Okay. Bye